guys? It's your boy AJ coming at you this morning or whatever time it is, wherever you are, whatever time you chose to click on this video. Thank you, first off, for clicking on the video. Uh, this will be my new channel coming at you. It's called Bless It Up this morning. Again, uh, by the way, Tuskegee did not sponsor this. I just graduated from here. So the point of this channel, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, is why I make a channel? Why I call it Bless It Up? Well, the purpose of this is, I guess I'll give you a little bit of background on it, is that I'm tired. I'm very tired. Like, it's it's something that I've been experiencing for a while, traveling back and forth to different churches, seeing different things from other churches. And to be honest with you, some churches have gotten away from just preaching and giving the message of God to other people. And some are giving the message and are giving a totally wrong depiction of what God intentions are as far as when it comes to everything out there, such as some people believe this is right. And then others will say this is right. And it gets to the point where you start attacking each other when we're supposed to love each other as one group of people. All of us are humans and God didn't intend for us to do all of these things and go against nature and attack each other and hate one another, but then go to church on Sunday and say we love each other, but then get out and go back to doing the same thing. And it just got to me where I wanted to get out and talk about it. You know, I want to go back to what church used to be, which is me being able to, you know, be able to give the message. I mean, I used to live in this little small city and I'm not talking about my hometown. I'm talking about my parents' hometown where there was this traveling preacher. And it was amazing to me because he knew the Bible left, right, underneath, backward, book closed, like he knew it all. And the thing is, he never asked for money to keep his car running. He never even once said, you know, here's my cash app, you know, and said, give me some money so I can continue to give you the word. It's really not supposed to be like that. It's really supposed to be about giving the word to everybody because it is the calling to do so. And seeing church do these things where they say one minute, oh, we love everybody. Then they find out someone comes in that's, you know, a part of the LGBT community. And then all of a sudden you don't love them no more. And everybody wants to quote that verse in the Bible that you, you know, this will happen to you if you're this way, or this will happen to you if you're this way. And I just want to, clean all that up. You know, you don't have to get hit over the head with the Bible to be able to love God because when you start forcing the idea of God onto somebody, anytime you force somebody to do something, they're going to do the opposite. It's just human nature because if you take the choice away, then what do you have? You're just a person that's out here with no no meaning, no nothing. And so, you know, the purpose of this channel is so I can express to you guys true meaning of love, what God really is, and what church has just completely steered you away from. And I know a lot of people are probably saying, well, AJ, not all churches are like that. Well, it's good for you. It's good if your church is not like that. But this channel was made for those whose churches are like that. And so I created this channel to help that. I just want to spread the message of God, but I'm not a preacher by any means. I'm not a preacher. I am just here to teach and change the perception of Christian. Like when we tell somebody, I'm gonna pray for you, it shouldn't be an insult. It should just be something we do because we we want to pray for that person, you know, like you, you shouldn't have to want to say an insult to somebody just because, you know, they made you mad. So I'm telling you, I'm gonna pray for you. Like it shouldn't be like that. Or if you wake up one day and you decide that you want to switch up or do some research on another religion, you shouldn't be shunned for that. You should just be, you know, content. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things out there. And us being humans, we want to learn. We want to continue to grow in something. And so, like I say, the purpose of this channel is to have unbiased opinions, lots of love for all my people who watching, and most of all, have fun. You know, like studying and learning about God is 
supposed to be fun, you know? It's kind of like discovering a new show and you want to watch it to the very end to see what happens, right? But I don't know. People have gotten away from it and now you don't want to learn about God. You want to do the opposite of whatever that is, you know? And so the purpose of this channel, like I say, it's just to get out there to you guys and just show you that you can love yourself and love God. And, you know, and I'm going to grab real world content, okay? Just putting that out there. Real world content. You will be experiencing what's in the Bible that's relevant to now. So like when you go to a mega church, they may preach about give a lot of money to the church or something like that. I mean, they don't really say give a lot of money to the church, but they do say something along those lines. And yes, God will bless you if you do give, but it shouldn't get to the point where there's a dollar amount on it or you give so much you end up inside of a committee or something. You know, it should just be you gave a lot for the church, hoping that they take that money and use it for the church. But for those mega churches, think about it now. If a mega church makes a million dollars a year. How much of the congregation gets that money? I'm going to say it again, just in case some of y'all missed it. If a mega church makes a million dollars a year, how much of that do they give back to their congregation? I don't know. I never went to a mega church like that. I've been to a few maybe, but I never stay long enough to see if that money comes back to me. You know, and I think that's where a lot of people kind of get confused on, you know, I go to church, put money in the offering. I get blessings from God. OK, so pop quiz. If somebody puts money into the church. And let's say Susie gets sick. And she's off her job. Do your church takes that proceeds that they earned up that Sunday to give to her so she can pay those bills, get them groceries that she needs. I mean, comment in the, the bottom of the mood, bottom of the screen. But, you know, just let me know. Because I'm kind of curious myself, actually, to be honest. You know, so I'm like I say, I'm just saying you got to think about these things. You know, I don't want people to just give, give, give and think that's going to get them into heaven because it's not. God loves a cheerful giver. That is true. That is in the Bible. But once again, you know, Ezekiel 7 and 25 says it itself. And I'll read it to you because I got my Bible right here. So it says when terror comes, they will seek peace, but there will be none. Wow, that's powerful. I'm going to read it again just so everybody knows what I said. It says right here on Ezekiel 7.25, When terror comes, they will seek peace, but there will be none. Wow. So you mean to tell me that the people who tell me to give, 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 and I give, 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 but when something bad happens, There'll be no peace. But if the church tells me to just keep giving and I'll get peace eventually. Then why am I not going to have peace when it when terror comes? Once again, I say I'm just saying your church may be different. I want to specify that right now. Your church may be different, but I just want you to understand that if you give, 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 and then when something bad happens and you have no peace when it happens, why is that? Why do you have no peace once you give? And then this is where Christianity and loving God get kind of confused because you start blaming God for that terror and why he's not helping you. 
when God puts you in a tough situation, he's doing two things. One, he's preparing you for something harder. Number two, and number two is my personal favorite. He's testing you to see if you still love him even through the hard times. We can all relate to that. We've all been in a situation where we either love somebody very much, a good friend, family member, a loved one, significant other. And you just, ooh, you just get so mad at them. And they do something to make you mad. But you still love them because you just do. There's been plenty of times someone has made me mad. But I forgive them. I may never talk to them again. But I will forgive them. Because that is what God does for us. He forgives us. We make him mad every day. So if we make him mad every day, and he still loves us and he's still there for us, then what can I say but let me forgive this person? But it's just something to think about, you know? And like... When there's no peace, when terror comes, you start to say, well, God's not there for me anymore. And it can get like that. And it does get sad when you believe God's not there anymore. But he is there. He's always there. But like I say, it's just, you got to understand for yourself. And that's why I'm here to teach it, to help it easier for you. People say all the time things in the Bible don't correlate with today, but it does. Everything in the Bible is here, happening right now. And like I say, I'm here for you guys to get that teaching, but not beat you over the head with it. To show you, you can love yourself and God at the same time. This channel promotes nothing but love. I love all you guys. I haven't even met some of you, but I love you all because I believe in God and God loves me. And I've done a lot of faults. And if I've done this many faults, and he can still love me, then obviously I can have love for the person that I don't even know. That's just, just the way I am. And like I say, this channel is nothing but love. You guys can comment down below and let me know what you want me to talk about. And I'll do it. If you want to talk about something in particular, I'll do it. I'll shout you out on the channel and say, this is what we're talking about. And if you don't want me to shout you out on the channel about what we're talking about, then that's fine too. But I want you guys to come to this channel and get a lesson. Once again, I'm not a preacher. I'm not preaching by any means whatsoever. I am just here to help you guys get to the next destination. Now, whether you believe what the next destination is, is on you. But I just want you to get there. And I want you to change the perception you have that church is not about God anymore. I want to show you that church can be at home and during COVID times right now church is at home and there are still some churches out there saying give me the cash app I just got the word from you for free <laughs> I'll say that again I just got the word from you for free now if I want to donate I can 
And I'm not saying don't. Like, for those of you who tithe and do offerings, I'm not saying stop. I'm just saying you got the word for free. Hmm. AJ, what you mean I got the word for free? I got to pay the cable. I got to pay the internet to be able to even watch this free word. Well, that's true. But you're not paying the person giving you that word. Hmm. You're not paying that person to give you the word. Now, for those of you who tithe and offer to keep the building up, that's great. But for the rest of you who are out there tithing and offering and then taking some, putting it in your pocket, I'm talking to you guys. Yeah, I'm talking to you guys. I'm not talking to anybody else. I'm talking to you. The ones who sneak in the back. Or the pastors who cut a deal and get some on the side. Yeah, I'm talking to you guys. Now, once again, this channel's not here to take on mega churches. It's just here to bring back old fashioned word and teaching. That's it. And like I say, you know, it's just the way it is. And in Ezekiel 13 and 10, once again, got my Bible right here, so I'm going to read it to y'all. Because they lead my people astray, saying peace when there is no peace. And because when a flimsy wall is built, they cover it with whitewash. Mm. 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 I'm going to read that again. because I, I want to read it again because my mom always told me, you read something three times, you'll understand it. Because, this is Ezekiel 13 and 10 again. Because they led my people astray. They led you astray. They're telling you one thing and they're doing something different and giving you false information. Mm. So you've been led astray. You, you lost. You don't even know where you're going. You just lost. You're just out there now. But God says, when they say peace, when there is no peace. Wow. So they're telling me there is peace, but there is no peace. I don't have any peace. They don't have any peace. And I'm astray, so I'm lost. So I definitely don't have peace because I don't know where I'm going. How many of y'all have ever went somewhere, like just driving, and your GPS just goes out? You've been led astray, right? And now there's no peace in your car because you're scared. You don't know where you're going. You're lost. Wow, I'm lost now. <laughs> oh, wow. It doesn't even have to be as big as a car or you driving somewhere. It can be you moving into a new city. And you're trying to figure out where is your new job. Yeah, you got your GPS. Yeah, you hope that it works and it doesn't fail you. But when it does, you've gone astray. And you don't have peace of mind on where you're going. Wow. I mean, I know for a fact when I got lost trying to go back home, my whole service just went out. Boom. Boom. Gone. Traveling them backwoods will knock out your cellular service before you even know it. And knock mine out. And I was scared. I didn't know where I was going. I couldn't even call and ask my parents or my girlfriend or anybody to help me get to where I'm going. I just called on one person to help me. I called God. And calling on him was probably the best thing. And so I called on God. I said, God, I am lost. And I need help. So what I did was I took his advice and I just kept going forward. Wow, that's incredible. I just kept going forward. Wow. Just kept going forward. And as I kept going forward, I came into a town. 
yeah, I came into a town. It's so strange, so bizarre. It was a town. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a town. An actual town. Wow. I know, right? It was a town. And my service came back. My phone worked. And I was able to get the GPS and navigate myself back home. Wow. So I was led astray. Then I had no peace. Wow. And God brought me right back. Now, see, I could have did the third part of the scripture, which I'm going to read, which is because when a flimsy wall is built, they cover it with whitewash. Now, I could have believed, you know, that I'm just lost. I'm going to have to, like, pull over until the service comes back. Then I have a false wall built, very flimsy. I'm thinking it's a wall made of bricks, but it's a wall made of Lego bricks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If I had put that wall up that I am lost, I would have had to pull over to the side of the road. Till the service came back. Wow. That's that's scary sometimes pulling over to the side of the road in the woods. I mean, I like scary movies. So yeah, that's pretty scary. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's scary to me. They have to pull over on the side of the road to try to figure out where I am. And I don't have a map. I don't know how to read a map. Because I grew up, Google Maps was coming up. And so, yeah. But there are some people who are not lucky in that scenario. In real world, trying to find peace. But they can't because they've been led astray from what they think God is. Wow. Some of you can't sleep at night because you're trying to find peace. And you think this person told you the right thing about peace. And it's far from the truth of peace. Which is why, once again, this channel is here. With the times of COVID going on right now. And seeing all these different churches. These different pastors. Asking for money. And they're giving the word for free. And they want extra. And they're not even in that building right now. Why? Why? Why can't you just be satisfied with giving me the word for free? I get it. Some people become pastors. Because of the income. And the providence. And all of that. I, I get it. But if you're looking at preaching. As a occupation. And not a calling from God. Then why are you here? Why? Just the other day I was talking with someone and told him church can be a concert. It really can. Some people go to church just because family said so. Why don't you go to church for yourself? Because you don't have the teachings you probably want to hear come out the pastor's mouth. So that's why this channel is here for you guys. You guys. It's not here for me. It's not here for anything but you guys. I want you guys to know that whatever you want me to come on this platform and talk about, I'll do it. I'll do it. Whatever you guys want to talk about. Flood that comment section. 
and let me know what you want me to talk about next time we come together. And I will definitely get it out to you guys. I don't want you to come here mindlessly and not get anything once you leave this channel. I want you guys to get something. That's why I'm on this platform, to reach as many people as I can. So we don't have to worry when we don't have peace. And we don't have to feel like we've been led astray and think we have peace. When there is a wall between us and our peace. Look, I'm almost done. This was supposed to be an introduction video, but I see I got very passionate and wanted to teach a little bit anyway. And so, I mean, just to wrap things up, I have one more verse for you guys. And it's coming straight from 1 Peter's 4 and 8. And of course, like I say, I have my Bible right here in front of me, so I will always read them to you. If you want to follow along in yours, that's perfectly fine. This is coming from the New International Version, not the King James. And this is Peter's 4 and 8. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. That's what this channel's about. It's about love. All love. I have love for all of you, whether you subscribe or you just watch or you just like or you leave a comment, whatever it is, I don't care. I just want to let you guys know I love you. And I want you to feel loved when you come to this channel and you request something you want me to talk about. I will do it. I will. Because I don't want you to be led astray and put up a flimsy wall between you and your peace. I don't want that. No, I don't. And if I can touch just one person today after this video, that's fine. That's perfect because it shows me that what I'm doing is right by God. Once again, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you today for listening to me with my intro plus lesson. And like I say, I'm not a pastor. I'm just here to help somebody who's went astray what I can to help out in any way. Thank you guys so much. Once again, subscribe, like, comment down what you want me to talk about next time we're together. I won't be so angry next time. Hopefully. Hopefully I won't be tired either. But I am tired right now of how things are. And I want everybody to get back. To how they used to be. Once again, I'm your boy AJ, and we're gonna bless it up.